Hi there, in this short video I'd like to show you our tool Tree Fly. You might have heard about Twine or Tree2, two tools to create interactive stories to run in your browser. Both are great and we love them, since they are so easy to learn and you can write your own stories instantly. Twine and Tree2 can easily be extended to create inventories, a day and night circle, shops, etc. But in this case you have to write JavaScript code. If you aren't a programmer, it might be tough and time consuming. To avoid programming, we invented TreeFly. With our tool, you create interactive elements without writing any code. Ok, maybe a few lines. But enough talking, let's have a look at how it works. When opening TreeFly, you see a lot of menus. All the features of our tool can either be seen on the left in the feature box or on top in the tabs. As you can see, we implemented an inventory system, shops, a money system, a day and night system, closing, player stats like strength or intelligence, a job system and a character and dialogue system. What TreeFly does for you is to pick up all the items, closed jobs, etc. you define here and create the corresponding JavaScript code and objects. Furthermore, it creates macros so that you can easily create and manipulate objects in the game. We will look into the code later. Let us now load a TreeFly configuration and see what we can do with it. A TreeFly configuration stores all items, close stats, etc. as well as the captions you'd like to see in the menus in your game. Since the feature list of TreeFly is huge, let us only look at the inventory system. You will see that many tabs look similar to this one. In the inventory tab you create all the items appearing in your game. Have a look at the item box at the bottom of the window to see all their properties. Next to the predefined properties we implemented three skills that you can use for your own logic. If you want to include an option to eat specific items, use skill 1 as eatable by setting it either to 1 or 0 and use skill 2 to store the amount of stamina health or whatever the player should gain when eating the item. Do not forget to activate the skill in the checkbox above the item list. Also on the top you can select if the inventory should be shown in the game sidebar and or if there should be a link to open the inventory in the paragraph view. On the right there is the list of properties that are shown in the in-game inventory. You might want to hide properties like category or buy price. Just uncheck the boxes and the player won't see them. The items I defined before are a taxi driver's business card, a smartphone, a keycard and a chocolate bar. Note the values in the own column. They show how many items the player owns at the beginning of the game. To create your game you have to set the story file here. TweeFly won't change it, but it will reference it once it generates a story for you. We start the generation by clicking on the Generate and Build button. We select an output folder that contains a story file and click OK. TweeFly will generate the story for us now. Note the files that TweeFly generated here. There's one for each feature we activated before in the UI, like characters, closing daytime or inventory. Let's open our story. Of course the content of the game bases on the story you've written before. Now open the inventory by clicking on the link in the left sidebar. Both items with an own value greater than zero can be found. Furthermore you can see all other functions we activated in TweeFly, like Closing, stats, or a character's overview. Now let's have a look at how items configured in TweeFly can be accessed in the game. As an example, I'd like to show you how items can be added to the inventory. Open the story in your favorite text editor. Now take a look at the example story. Here you see how an item is added to the inventory using the TweeFly macros. It is called add to inventory and takes two parameters, the ID of the item and the amount of the item to be added. Here is the ID. It's easy, isn't it? The TweeFly documentation will give you an overview over the UI, the macros and even the JavaScript functions within TweeFly. Follow the quick start tutorial to set up the story backend in minutes. Feel free to visit our page stonedrum.de for updates. And don't worry, it's all in English. TweeFly comes in two editions. The free edition, which is, well, free, and the professional edition, which is available to our Patreon supporters. 
Feel free to contact us every time you find a bug, if you like to submit a feature request or if you just want to say hello. And now just have as much fun as we do with our tool Treefly.